Hey there, Justin Egan here. Excited to cut this short video for you today and talk to you about getting unstuck, keeping a clear mindset, you know, focusing on what you want, staying motivated and moving forward. You know, have you ever felt stuck? I know we all have. You know, I've experienced that a great deal of times in life and business. I mean, when I started this business, I could barely drag myself out of bed. And the reality is, is as your mindset goes, your business is going to go. So today I want to talk to you about how to make sure that you stay unstuck, how to make sure that you're focusing on what you want. And that is with the use of affirmations. You know, I know with everybody I work with, all the students I work with, I know from my personal experience that when we're struggling, we often are focusing on our circumstances more than we're focusing on what we want, right? What it is we want to achieve. And daily affirmations can help you Train your brain to envision the things that you want to uh, achieve, set your intentions on a daily basis, keep you reminded of where you're going, not where you're at. So I've got a few tips for you today that can help you with your affirmations. Tip number one is make sure that your affirmations are always in the positive, always in the affirmative, always focusing on what you want, not what you want to move away from. An example would be, you know, I write my affirmations out as I'm so happy and grateful that. So, you know, rather than say I'm so happy and grateful to be out of debt, you know, you could say I'm so happy and grateful to have $20,000 in the bank. That when we do an affirmation that uh, says, I'm so happy and grateful to be out of debt, believe it or not, we're really focusing on what we don't want, which is debt. So we want to focus on the positive. Another example would be, you know, rather than saying, I'm, I'm so happy and grateful uh, to, to not be stressed out, okay, where we're really focusing on being stressed out, is to say, I'm so happy and grateful to live at peace. We want to focus on the positive. Uh, another really helpful tip I can give you for doing affirmations is to put them on note cards and actually take pictures of them. I have, right in my phone, um, I have a file in here, just a, a separate folder of pictures with my affirmations. So at the very least, I can flip through them and read them to myself a couple times a day. Very, very helpful, especially if you're traveling or if you're on the go, if you're busy. You know, it gives you a way to focus on those things, you know, conveniently, right? And lastly would be to form a habit of doing them daily. You know, it's best if you write them down, you know, if, if you have to flip through them on pictures, if that's the best option for you, so be it. But I know that I flip through these every morning and every night, and if I ever find myself getting unfocused or, or focusing on uh, challenging circumstances that, that, that are in my life at that moment, you know, I can always pull my phone out or pull a notebook out and go through them. You know, I have about 10 to 12 that I have in here. And the reality is, is once you um, achieve something, you know, for instance, if you say, I'm so happy and grateful to reach X, to be an X in my company, right? A certain rank. I'm so happy and grateful to be, you know, director in my company or whatever the different ranks are in your company. Once you reach that, you can always just change the affirmation. I know some of this uh, to some people sounds a little voodoo-y, right? And I understand it sounded that way to me until I started implementing it in my life and it made a huge, huge difference. So if you ever feel stuck, if sometimes you feel like circumstances have you down and, and you're not staying consistent in your business and you're not focusing enough on what you want, affirmations can definitely help. I highly recommend you apply what I just shared with you at the very least in your business. You know, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to go leave a comment below, share it with anybody uh, that you think may find it helpful as well, teammates, friends, etc. If you like this kind of stuff, if you feel like you could use a little more motivation, if you feel like you could use help building belief, overcoming self-sabotage, you know, embracing risk, being more positive, happier, etc., you know, all that great mindset stuff, I just released a series of recordings I did, 22 recordings called the September Sessions that can help you with just that. You can go to justiceegan.com forward slash September Sessions to get more info and grab those audios if you feel they'll uh, help you. So I look forward to seeing your comments below. I look forward to cutting more videos for you and I'll talk to you very soon.